You know, when we go, for example, we take our kids to a restaurant. Make sure it's a halal restaurant. Make sure you find out where they got their chicken from, where they got their beef from. Let's do a background check on the owner. Let's find out where they, you know, all this stuff. And, you know, who did they hire and what kind of skillet did they use and all this stuff. And fine, you did all your exhaustive background check. And now you go to the halal restaurant with your children. Right? And you're sitting there and you're eating food. And the people who are serving you, they come and they go. And it's like late at night. The restaurant's about to close. And your kids finish half their plate. And you finish half your plate. Like, ah, oh, I'm full. Okay, let's go, and you just pick up and go. You know what? You ate halal, but there was so much missing here. The people that are working late at night, they have homes to go to also. You could have just taken a little bit of time to clean up, put things aside, make their job a little easy for them, taken the opportunity to take, teach your children that those people that are working here, this is actually the risk Allah, you know, this is the way that they earn Allah's risk. It's not easy to do the job that they do. And just because we have the luxury of sitting here and eating, doesn't mean that we deserve better than they do. We're not better human beings than they are. And they're your elders. A waiter at a restaurant is older than your child. So the elders always deserve respect. So go say salam to them. And thank them for their service. Actually help them take some of this stuff back. And we don't waste food. These are matters of character. You don't have to give a khutbah. This is just character. These are simple things that we overlook. Just making eye contact with somebody when you speak with them. Just giving them time of day or courtesy. Now, now when you're talking to somebody, in the middle of talking to them, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah, I agree. What? You're not even giving them the courtesy of attention. It could be your parents. It could be anybody else. But we don't pay attention to people when you speak to them. These are simple matters of character. But when somebody does that, when somebody tick, tick, puts their stuff away and actually gives you the time of day in conversation, they're not rolling their eyes and saying, ah, so uh, can I go now? Either they're saying that with their speech or they're saying that with their body language. Right? They're not doing that. They actually gave you the courtesy. It actually speaks volumes. It has an impact. And these are the kinds of things that we basically don't even emphasize anymore.